I'm continuing my video series on the fake history of Saint Augustine. This is part 5, the final part. If you feel like you've missed anything, check out the previous videos, the links are in the description. I recommend watching them all, to get the full picture. I hope you don't get bored. Without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This 1879 photo shows the bell tower of the Cathedral Basilica in the background. According to the government website floridamemory.com, this photo is from 1870. The problem with these dates is that the tower you see in the background was said to have been added to the Cathedral Basilica by Henry Flegler in 1887, after a fire, and while he was building the rest of St. Augustine. The government website says circa 1870. Many photos on government websites, including Library of Congress, now say circa, which means approximately, or around. Some even give dates like between 1860 and 1942, which is the same thing as saying we don't know from when this photo is. I believe this is done because history has been so horribly butchered. To avoid accountability, photos are no longer assigned to a specific date. Photos often had dates on the back of them. This is the structure today. Several previous versions of this church were burned to the ground. One built in 1565, burnt in 1586, and another burnt down in 1599. Another was built in 1605. The cathedral was again built in 1793 according to historical websites. A historical website says this. The Cathedral Basilica of St. Augustine, home to the nation's first Catholic parish, stands where it has since first built in 1797, then rebuilt after a fire in 1887. Its imposing presence on the Plaza de la Constitution, our reminder of resilience in the ancient city, named for St. Augustine of Hippo, on whose feast day, August 28, 1565, land was first sighted by Pedro Menendez de Viles. The cathedral's 18th-century Spanish Renaissance architecture includes a six-story bell tower that was added with help from Henry Flegler in the 19th century, after the church was gutted by fire. Fortunately, the Coquina blocks and cement masonry of the exterior were salvaged. Here's a photo I'd rather not have found. It's the first photo I find that appears to debunk everything I am saying here. I found it on Pinterest, but it was undated. It was linked to an article in SaintAugustine.com, the local newspaper. But the article no longer existed. Even so, it is missing a significant building that is supposed to be behind the basilica, set back from the street a little. I'm referring to this building, which is today called the Treasury. The Treasury was built in 1926, long after Flegler's time. And yet, it boasted the same style of architecture as all the Flegler buildings, so I counted it to them before I went online and was told it's from another time. Or, perhaps the tower was taken from elsewhere and put atop the Treasury. It's the highest building in St. Augustine. I went to Google Earth to take in the same perspective as in the old photo. De I debunked myself. I found a flagler style building that was clearly not present on old photographs. Or did I? After letting the video rest unpublished for some time, I had another much closer look. Lo and behold, the photo that had deflated my research contained clear signs of photo manipulation. Here's a cut out of the relevant section. There are four issues. The cross atop the church is suspended in the air, attached to nothing. The half-circle object below it looks like it's been partially erased or belongs to another building. There's a faded upward moving line sticking out from a balustrade. There's an unknown roofing structure behind the balustrade. Manipulation of photos has existed since the invention of modern photography, and this photo has all the signs of it. It looks amateurish. Why is it necessary to manipulate a historic photo like this? Maybe, because it showed a building that wasn't supposed to have existed in those days. Whatever the reason, if they are willing to use photo manipulation, it makes researching St. Augustine history complicated. At the time of this video, the photo was available here. The Genealogical Society has a list of all business licenses that were issued in St. Augustine here. Unfortunately, it only lists licenses beginning in 1887, the year of Flegler. 
business licenses are issued to the Alcazar and Ponce Hotel almost every year, including 1887, one year before it was allegedly completed. I wish it listed business licenses prior to 1887. What's the reason for so many things starting in 1887? If this aerial view is correct, St. Augustine was already a bustling small city long before that. Where are the photos of downtown, the postcards, the public records, from before that date? One sure sign of someone having fabricated a history is, when records and pictures of a specific period are missing. This is the most anomalous photo I found during my research. Unfortunately I was unable to retrace my steps on how and where I found this photo. I had since deleted my browser cache, and never could have guessed that I'd find no trace of this building anywhere else. I didn't realize the internet was wiped clean from any hint there was a huge structure across from Castillo San Marcos, on Anastasia Island. There is no indication of this grand building on the Wikipedia page, on old photographs, on historical websites. Its memory has been erased. I recall having found this photo in a private collection an old lady posted on her blog, but I don't recall the name. The mere fact that I can't find anything on such a large building, indicates that someone has actively removed references to it. All the Anastasia Island historical photos webpages that I found, only showed the lighthouse. Even the shape of the island has changed. For comparison. The place where the palace stood, now has normal houses. Even more strange, this port of Anastasia Island is shown as undeveloped beach and trees until as late as the 1950s. If the structure was built in the 50s, it's even more bizarre I'd find nothing on it. I've waded through surveys of Anastasia Island and countless aerial views from all decades. The thing that bothers me the most about this is that the photo quality doesn't look 1950s. It looks like something from the 1850s. The earliest method of photo processing is called daguerreotype. This kind of photography was mostly discontinued after the 1860s and completely disappeared by the 1900s. This photo looks daguerreotype. But the Lion's Bridge, built in 1927 is standing. The island is fully developed. Maybe the photo itself is fake. Or maybe it's a drawing, made to look like a vintage photo. If I find out more about it, I'll be sure to add it here. So far, we have a hotel menu, a hotel bath, a postcard, and a bird's eye view map telling us that these buildings stood before Flegler built them in 1888. We also have ancient walls that have disappeared, some ancient pyramids, and a mysterious star fort. We have the government misstating photos, or Wikipedia misstating them, disappeared buildings on Anastasia Island, and strange ancient maps. We have an information gap between the early 1800s and 1880s. We have structures that have mysteriously burnt down. We have rich crime families defining history. That should be enough to awaken anyone's inner detective. Knowledge dissemination relies on you. Share this video far and wide.